Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, doing a let's play of Metroid Prime. Alright, in the last episode we finally got these space jump boots, and now we have far superior abilities. Now we need to look for, there it is, Transport Tunnel B. That's where our next, uh, well it's not a power up, our, our, we have a miss, there's a missile upgrade in there that we missed. We're gonna go back and get. Yeah, this video is going to be entirely me going back and picking up all the missiles and uh, other uh, upgrades that I've missed so far. I think they're mostly been, they've been almost, an, I think they've been all missile expansions. I'm fairly sure I've gotten all the energy tanks. Because, I mean, we've only been to Fendrana Drifts. So we haven't even been to some of the areas yet. But we have four. Uh, now I want to go, yeah, I'm going the right way. We have four uh, energy tanks besides our 99 health. So we're, we're doing pretty well. I didn't realize we had four already. I don't remember picking up that many. Kind of weird. It sneaks up on you. Now, can I double jump out of this? There we go. Got him. He can be kind of annoying, because you can only kill him by shooting that green thing that comes out of his mouth. <laughs> and down we go. enough. And this is where our next upgrade is. Here in this s steamy, scary room where if you fall, you die and find upgrades. Alright, look at that. Now let's see, where is the next one that we need to get? I believe it is time to head for Chozo Ruins. Is this... That's Magmore. Alright, we need to go back to Chozo. So let's go back through there and head over to Chozo Ruins. Climbing this room is now even easier now that we have the space jump boots. We can just like hop right up. It's fairly simple now. No hard jumps anymore. You'll find that, th that this ability gives like more than like. It, I mean, it looks like a double jump, but based on like if you use it correctly, you can turn it into like the distance that would be like equivalent to like a triple jump. Like it is ridiculously good. And of course, you only have to fight that guy if you're going one direction. The other way, you can space jump right across that, that uh, water down there. Of course, if you go through the fog, you still take damage. Oh, just so you know, Samus' suit allows her to withstand falls from any height. So you can fall from as high as you want, and it will not hurt you. As long as you're in a more normal mode. I'm not sure if it works if you're a morph ball. Let's head over to Chozo and pick up these other power-ups we're missing. Now, let's see. The first one we need to get is the in the watery hall access room. And there may be a couple others. We'll run, we'll run around and get them all, so. I made a video dedicated to it. I don't mind if it takes me 10 minutes to get 7 or 8 of these things, but uh. Hopefully, it won't take too long to get any one of them. Because there are a lot of them are close to each other. Is there a thing up there I didn't scan? Oh, wow. Let's get that. Alright. Now, how do we get to Watery Hall? We want to go straight across this room. We need to go... Should have gone somewhere else. Let me see. I'm looking at the map here. Let's see. Watery Hall is over here, I believe. Right there. So we need to go up. Yeah, like I said, this space boots like greatly increase your uh, jumping ability. You can make ridiculously long jumps. Stuff that doesn't seem like you should be able to make, you can make. Oh crap, bees. Or I guess they're technically called war wasps. So I really should start calling them by the right name, huh? I mean, roll through here, do a somersault. Oh god, we're dying! Nah, not really, they're not very threatening. Use boost ball. Roll fast. Right into the wall. Way to go, Samus dark in here. Did I scan that over there? Wow, I didn't. I can't believe that. I keep missing all these Chozo lures. I wonder how many Chozo lore there are. So once I got all of them, I might as well, like, read them so we can get, like, the story, figure out what's going on here. Check it out. Fountain is clear to overgrowth. Awesome. That means the water in here is safe to walk in now. I wonder if that means that we can get a new power-up or something in here. Let's see. I saw this thing back here. I see that, but I don't think we can get in there yet. See. No structural weaknesses detected in metalwork, so we can't break it. 
Oh, I see. Look at that. All right, we need a, we need a power from later on in the game in order to get that particular upgrade. If, I'm, if I remember correctly. Now we want to go this way. Oh, I ran right into that bug. Shoot them. Take out the power ups. Come through here. We want to go out the bottom one right there. That's easy enough. Walk right through here, get misted in the face. Alright, and we need to go this way. Oh, I hear one. Y'all hear that? There's one in this room, too. The path of corruption leads ever higher? I don't get it. Get rid of the mushrooms there so I can walk around. I thought I heard one. I did. There's one up there. We'll go up there and get that one next. See if we can. Actually, I don't know if we can get it that one. But if we can, we'll get it next. But if you listen, you can hear the upgrade. You can figure out which direction it is. It's right there. Right. That's what we came for. Now let's see, where's the next one we want to get? We're actually pretty close to the next one. We need to go to the watery hall, so it's right it's right in through right through here. We're gonna get to, we're gonna try to get to a room called Dynamo, because that's where the actual uh thing is. But the uh, watery hall is oh crap, like the intermediate step. The water is safe in here now. The water is safe in the entire Chozo ruins. Totally legit now. Also, of course, all the enemies are still around, so it's still just as annoying. But uh, now let's see. Where is the path that I want to go through? You see, there's a uh. Yeah, I know what I know what we want. Oh, we're getting destroyed. We want to go through here. One of those guys is shooting at it, isn't it? That guy over there, I think. Yeah, it was. All right, we'll get it. And this little hole right here, we opened with more fall bombs. So we could have done this earlier. Well, we could have done all of these earlier, but yeah. Do that. All right, this is a room we haven't actually even been in before, so pretty cool. Let's see. Another missile door. I really don't want you getting in here if you don't have missiles. This is cool. Oh, you just hear all kinds of stuff going on in here. I hear at least two. Well, anyway, one of them's right there. I'm gonna jump up and grab it. It's easy enough. They just hand them. Some of the missile expansions, they just hand them to you. I believe you now have a capacity of 55 if I've been adding them up right. Now, is there another one in here that I haven't... Uh, what is it? There's a scan right there. I can get it. Magnetic rail system track detected. I don't know what that means. Or at least, when it's supposed to. The machine is still active. Okay, cool. This. Same thing. Is that the only one in here? Alright, let's see where the next one is. I'm gonna meet you guys back in the main plaza. Never mind. We're gonna do this one now. Uh, we're at the top of that uh, room. I said I would come back to you and get it. Right in the gathering hall at the very top by this door here. I believe I just remembered how to get this uh, power up. No? I thought that morph ball... Well, maybe we can double jump up there now that we're on this. Yeah, that's what it is. You can roll up here. Break open this. Roll in there for another missile expansion. Alright. About it. What does that bring our total up to? I'm not even sure. It's pretty high now. 60? Pretty good. Anyway, I'll meet you guys back in the main uh, lobby. The main uh, atrium, whatever it's called.